was in second grade, everything was hard. I really didn't get it that much. Somewhere along the line, she was just kind of not meeting up the standards with the rest of the class. I noticed that there was a change in Josie also too, kind of more quiet, and I, I kind of see some kind of loss in confidence with her. It just started getting worse. Anthony was a good child, very smart, very intelligent, you know, we found that out early on. As far as school is concerned, he started to have some challenges around the, the third grade. Disruptive behavior, it seemed like for us every day was some kind of incident. And then, you know, it started to affect his grades. Student Advocacy's mission is to help any child that's struggling in school identify what it is that's preventing them from doing well. And once they've identified that, they work with the school districts to try to get the kind of learning environment that the child needs. When I met Josie, she was failing. She was in second grade. Her parents were frustrated. The school was frustrated because she is the sweetest thing. She reassured me, like, this is going to be something I, I do, I care for, and I want to meet with Josie and you and see what we can do. And she was diagnosed, essentially, with attention deficit disorder, but I suspected something completely different. I thought that she had something called central auditory processing disorder. Sometimes I wasn't like really paying attention. I would hear, but um, sometimes I would look around while I was hearing what the teacher was saying. They wanted to help fight for her to be in a smaller class. Josie was nervous going to that school, but when she got there, she really excelled. In this school, since I'm in the second row, I can see nobody's really in front of me. I feel like I can do this. I'm confident. I feel better about myself. Oh, I think she's going to be a star. Now she can tell me we start out doing this and how we do it like this. Her confidence is growing, just growing every day. He was despondent. He didn't even want to go to school. So I can't imagine him even graduating school. And obviously when you're not in school and you're a young person, you know, you probably will gravitate towards the wrong things. I sought the help of student advocacy um, the beginning of his 10th grade year. Anthony's behavior was what the focus was as opposed to bringing to light what the disability was. The sense of urgency, they really brought to light and clarified things that we were entitled to. The services they offered, they identified, you know, talked to Anthony, felt like he was bright, he had a great future ahead of him, and this is the course we need to take. Being around the kids that I was, the type of people I was around, just made me want to be a better person. It was my new life. He became a true leader at that school. He wanted to dress like a leader and act like a leader. I mean, I'm always looking to give help to someone who may be in a similar situation as me. My vision for my future has changed. Anthony was motivated, he was clear on what he needed to do to be successful, to graduate. He had goals to pursue, to go on to college. Student Advocacy is actually the only group in Westchester that helps students who are struggling in school. Right now, at this point in time, we have 50 students on our wait list, and we have a wait list year-round, and we just don't have enough advocates to provide it for them. I really don't know what where we'd be out without Student Advocacy at the moment. If they have the help they need when they're younger, they have a whole life ahead of them. For the yearbook thing, I wrote um, down what I want to be when I grow up a nurse. Well, first I'm going to start out to be like babysitting because my mom calls me the baby whisperer. No kid wants to fail. And being able to help that child, that family, understand what's really going on and help change that trajectory for them. It is a job that is a privilege. Fighting for Josie was amazing, astonishing. I came home and I told my husband, like, you should have seen the way we had somebody on our side today. I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm getting 100s, 90s, 86. When I saw the 100 or the 86, I would do um, a little dance.